Today I'm going to be doing something either incredibly stupid or... No, it's just incredibly stupid. So I've been a little bit careless with my Sony camera and it has resulted in a few grazes on the screen. And also it's had this weird bubbling effect going on like behind the screen. And I've been doing a lot of research, been trying to figure out what you can do about this. And I don't particularly want to spend a huge amount of money to send it off to get it fixed. So I'm going to try and sort it out myself, which I probably wouldn't recommend to anybody. Disclaimer, don't try this at home. Essentially what I'm going to try and do is peel off the plastic that is sitting over the screen and try to replace it with a new little screen protector. And then after that, I'm going to put a screen protector on it straight away, double it up, and hopefully I will never have this problem again. I thought I would do it on camera just in case anything goes horrendously wrong. Might be a funny video. I've got a scalpel for this procedure to get in nice and close, so hopefully I don't scratch up the camera. And a little cloth to wipe it down, and obviously the protective screen. All right, well, let's just open this up to see what we're working with here. All right, please read me. Nah. Okay, I guess I should just peel this off first. Let me take off my little camera strap. I don't want anything getting in the way with the surgery. Okay, so I've read that you should peel off from a corner. So I'm gonna go top left. This is terrifying. Jeez, I can't believe I'm actually doing this. Okay, let's try a different corner. Oh, we've got an in. Oh shit, okay, here we go. Have to be very, very careful. I don't need to whisper, I don't know why I'm whispering. So when peeling it, I have to be so gentle. This was definitely the bit that I was uh, most nervous about. I've seen videos of people doing this and it seems like it's had a pretty good success rate. It just seems really tough to take off. I mean, so far so good, it's peeling off. Okay, easy now, easy now. A little bit at a time, just a little, little bit at a time is all you wanna do. Not too much, not too much. Trying to be very careful not to touch the screen too much underneath the plastic. Holy shit, I didn't think this would actually work. Pretty sure by doing this I'm voiding any warranty I had. It's coming off. And thankfully it was just the plastic that was grazed up, not the actual screen itself. The Sony logo hasn't come off, which is also good. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, this is very weirdly satisfying. Oh my god, it worked. That's what came off. So we don't need that. Just give that a little, little cleany clean. Make sure it's nice and clean before we put down the plastic. I mean, that seems pretty clean. I just kind of want to get the plastic on now. Step one, peel off the mask and apply this side to the device screen. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. This is terrifying. I am one with the force and the force is one with me. Work. There's a few bubbles, but we can get that out. Use an oyster card. <laughs> Push those bubbles out. Get out of here, bubbles. No one wants you in here. I like how I haven't made a video on my side channel in quite a while, and I'm coming back with this. Oh, it's gone. Oh, 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 oh. It's gone. Okay. Step two. What's step two? Let's peel it off. Ooh, that was satisfying. That was very, very satisfying. Okay, so let's get the scalpel away from the camera. That looks pretty nice to me. That was a little bit terrifying, but hey ho, it worked. Okay, I'm gonna go put a proper protective screen on this now, so I don't have to ever go through this again. All right, well, I hope this video was helpful. I hope this video was educational. Uh, don't scratch your camera screens, because then you have to do this, and it's very terrifying. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.